Hi everyone, um, welcome to MacBet Locked and Loaded, um, just where we go over the last weekend's MacBet results. Um, pretty mixed weekend, um, not a lot in it. Uh, I think we just lost at Dooman, um, and then we won a little bit at the Gold Coast, and then we lost around about five units at the Sunshine Coast, so we probably finished up doing about three or four units, which was nothing uh, to get uh, worried about, but um, we'd rather be on the positive side, that's for sure. Um, our best bet yesterday won, our second best of the weekend, uh, Bergerac, around about the $3. Our first was at the coast, the horse that runs second in the first race. Um, it was a little bit disappointing. Um, came back to the 900 metres and uh, just didn't want to chase the leader. Um, it, it, didn't, it fought on quite well, but um, it was just a touch disappointing, especially coming off a Sydney run into an ordinary Gold Coast uh, meet. Um, as far as uh, horses to follow, um, we're going to go to, we had a very unlucky uh, week, oh, Saturday uh, at Doom, and um, you know, we backed Red Steiner in the first, or, you know, at a good odds around about the $10 mark, and I thought it actually won, it come from last, and, uh, and loomed, and somehow its head went back, and the other ones went down, and, and we missed the photo there. Then we backed uh, Boomwire about uh, the second last or the third last race and uh, it was going to hang on the last little bit and uh, Desley Forster's horse was just able to lunge and get it, you know, beat it by about a nose as well. And then we come into Oink in the last race and uh, it was really unlucky. It sat three wide the trip. Um, it, it, it was just couldn't possibly win. It's only just got beaten. Another horse that I thought may have won, I thought his head went right down on the line and I thought it might have won, So, but um, unfortunately it didn't. Um, it was heavily backed, it was around about $8 in the morning when we sent it out and started around the 7 or 2 mark or $4.50, so it was a massive go, uh, but um, we didn't get the chocolates. This is the only horse that we could um, uh, come up with to, for people to, to follow is a wink. Um, we just thought the sectionals were really good early in this race. Uh, they went fast and it was working through a, a hard pace. That's the horse that jumps. Uh, I didn't jump too much. It was, that's the midfield there um, in the red colours. Now, he's going to get into an okay position, um, but a couple of these horses like Prioritise kicked up on the inside and held it three wide. So they're going fairly quickly here. It doesn't look like they're going that fast. But they're going around about the four to five lengths above average up front. So they're burning along. And he's pushed along and wide. So he's working through the sectional. Still three wide. He gets pushed even further out on the corner. And he's out four and five deep. I, I thought he'd just drop out and prioritise in the red, just following him. I, I thought he'd just come to the outside and run over the top of him. But he's just one of those gunners prioritise. But um, he was leaning. I thought he still had a chance here, especially here. And he moves, and his head just went down, but the other one learned the thing of um, Waller's got up on the inside and got nailed. It. So it was just a really good run. I was a little bit worried about it um, going to the 13.50 all the time. It was one day last uh, last prep, we thought it'd get a perfect run behind the leader, and it was. It loomed, and it um, only won by about three quarters of a length. And um, I thought it should have ran away from him, and I was just a bit suspect about the 13.50, but as you can see on that run, set wide and the 13.50 was no problem. So it's the horse to follow. Um, we're back at the Gold Coast on Wednesday and then Ipswich Friday and then into the weekend. So we've got plenty of racing this week. Hopefully we can get on the positive side and uh, back a few more winners. All right, um, I'll see you next week. And remember, betting is believing.